Welcome back to M. Ratthitch channel, the best place to learn table tennis. The video has the subtitle, please turn on captioning for better understanding. Quadri Aruna, the Nigerian table tennis player, has caused a major upset in the WTT Singapore Smash 2023 by defeating Tomokazu Harimoto in the men's singles event. Hello, welcome back to Ping Sunday. I'm M. Ratthich. This is one of the best matches of Quadri Aruna I have seen. Before the match, Tomokazu Harimoto always wins Quadri Aruna. The head to head score is 3 0 for Tomokazu Harimoto. So, why in this time Quadri Aruna has dominated the game? Is it because his super forehand attack is very strong? Set. Match points still. Quadri Aruna! Tomokazu Harimoto! Aruna has explained the reason he defeated Tomokazu Harimoto. Aruna had previously lost all three of his matches against Harimoto and had only managed to win one game in those encounters. However, he managed to turn the tables on his opponent this time around, winning the match 3-0-11. 7-13-11-11-7. The victory is particularly impressive considering that Harimoto was the fourth seed in the tournament while Aruna was not even seeded. Aruna was seen as the clear underdog going into the match but he was able to find some secret sauce that allowed him to overcome his losing record against Harimoto. In an interview after the match, uh, Aruna credited his success to some advice he received from coaches at the tournament. I actually spoke with some coaches here and they gave me some great advice on how to play Harimoto. So I thought, well, let me try. He said, uh, I, I've been trying out some tactics before against him and, and it didn't work. Uh, but the advice from the coaches really worked very well for me today. But of course, I have to keep the advice to myself for our next meeting. I actually spoke with some coaches here and they gave me some great advice on how to play Harimoto. So I thought, let me try. I've been trying out some tactics before against him and it didn't work. But the advice from the coaches really worked very well for me today. But of course, I have to keep the advice to myself for our next meeting. Quadri Aruna. Aruna's victory over Harimoto is a testament to the importance of preparation and strategy in table tennis. While talent and skill are certainly important, it is often the player who is better prepared and has a solid game plan who comes out on top in high pressure situations. in his favor. Thank you so much, just unbelievable. Like I said two days ago, I said uh, it would be better to play against uh, Jean from France because I won before like two times and I remote score line head to head was like 4-0. So today I was just out there to give my best, you know, I was like it doesn't matter the results, just show what you are capable of doing and uh, I'm very happy things were working for me. And yeah, you've, like you said, you've played him a few times before. You've in fact only ever won one set against him. And to win 3-0 today, what was the secret behind that? Uh, I actually spoke with some coaches here and uh, they gave some great advice how to play. And I was like, okay, let me try. You know, I've been trying some sorts before against him, which was not working. But today, some of the advice from the coaches, it's really worked very well. But of course, I have to keep that to myself for the next meeting. <laughs> And so um, in the second set, you're up 5-0, suddenly he catches up to 5 all. What's going through your head at that moment? Because he looked like he started getting loud, he started getting vocal. How did you stop him from getting on top? On the 5-0, I said always short to his forehand. Then I was trying to change something, you know, like something like a long backhand, just to make him a little bit uncomfortable. But 
Unfortunately, it was an error in the serve, and uh, it came to 5 5. Uh, I was not giving up, and uh, I put myself together and I kept fighting and fighting. And Team in his favor. And um, you look like you're having a lot of fun out there with the fans. You're enjoying the Singapore crowd. Um, how are you feeling here? I'm very happy. Yeah, you know, Singapore always brings a uh, positive memory to me. Don't forget, two years ago, I was in quarterfinal here when I beat Len Jinkun from China. And uh, this actually was a very good one for me. Again, for Africa, it's another quarterfinal. For Nigeria, it's another quarterfinal. And I really hope I can make it count this time around. And we saw you've been out getting some of the local food. You were enjoying the hot pot the other night. Are you going to repeat that as a superstition now? Got to have that meal? Probably, yes. Aruna's willingness to listen to advice and try new tactics ultimately paid off. And he was able to secure a memorable victory over a top-ranked opponent. It will be interesting to see how Aruna performs in the rest of the tournament now that he has proven himself capable of taking on and beating some of the top players in the world. His victory over Harimoto has certainly put the table tennis world on notice and fans will be eagerly watching to see if he can continue his impressive form in the days and weeks to come. I'm very happy here. Singapore always brings positive memories. Two years ago, I made it to the quarterfinals here when I beat Liang Jingkun from China at the WTT Cup Finals Singapore 2021. This actually was a very good one for me. For Africa and Nigeria, it's another quarterfinal, and I really hope I can make it count this time too. Quadri Aruna. In the second game of the match, Tomokazu Harimoto found himself trailing 5-0 against Quadri Aruna. However, the teenage sensation dug deep and managed to bring this score back to level, pushing the match into deuce. Despite his efforts, Harimoto was unable to win the game as Aruna found the answers and closed out the match. Reflecting on the game, Aruna revealed that he had tried to change up his serving strategy when he was leading 5-0, but unfortunately, it didn't work out as planned. However, he refused to give up and kept fighting, eventually managing to regain his composure and take control of the match. When it was 5-0, I had been serving short to his forehand and I was trying to change it up, maybe serve long to his backhand just to make him a little bit uncomfortable. Unfortunately, it was a mistake and he caught up to 5. In his favor. Five, Five, but I wasn't giving up. I put myself together and kept fighting. Quadri Aruna. With a 2 0 lead under his belt, Aruna was able to squash any hopes of a comeback from Harimoto. He dominated the rallies and sailed to his first ever victory over the Wonder Kid, securing a memorable win in the process. Aruna's tenacity and resilience in the face of adversity were key factors in his victory, and they serve as a testament to his skill and determination as a table tennis player. Harimoto 4-1. I've only ever taken a game of Harimoto, and he's got four game points here. Seven. Read more about table tennis on my blog, pingsunday.com. Get free ebook and coaching advices. See you in the next video.